What do you do when you're a young entrepreneur looking for money to make your dreams a reality? Well, one new phenomenon is seen to change your life. Crowdfunding, mostly largely successful in the European and American continent, is of taking a firm grip on Africa. Now, if you're a young entrepreneur, stay tuned. This is Business Insight, focusing on crowdfunding. The practice of funding a project or venture by raising small amounts of money from a large number of people, typically via the internet, commonly referred to as crowdfunding, has been propelling young innovators in the European and American continents. But this phenomenon is starting to lay its grip in Africa. Nylab, in partnership with 1%, both incubation hubs, have been incubating businesses, making it possible for young entrepreneurs to make their dreams a reality. This was witnessed when the 1% Club and Nylab held a two-day event featuring different groups showcasing and pitching their ideas, products, solutions and innovations to a jury and invited guests comprised of different industry players. We took the time to speak to Anna, founder of the 1% Club, to find out what made her create the 1% and what led her to invest in Africa. Um, I was always interested in um, uh, smart solutions for problems mm -hmm. and I was really passionate about uh, developmental work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also had opportunity to work with the United Nations at a really young age. And the first thing I noticed was that there were, of course, there are never enough resources to solve all the problems, but there were quite some resources. Mm -hmm. But the problem was they were used in a really poor way not the most effective way and not always for the things that were the most urgent or the most promising solutions. And it was about six years ago and at the same time Wikipedia came up. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if we can write an encyclopedia together, yeah. then of course we can solve some so problems happened, yeah. together. So that was step one. That was when uh, I was one of the founders of the 1% Club, an mm -hmm. online crowdfunding platform for smart ideas. Um, but then the next challenge came. If you want really, really smart ideas, where do you go? Yeah. And yeah, the, our way led to Nairobi. And if you're looking for smart ideas, then Sam Gichur is one of the first guys yes. <laughs> you are most likely to meet. Um, and so, so it happened. We met Sam. Uh, uh, we, uh, are, yeah, we were immediately impressed by all the uh, inspiring uh, startups and other projects he you know. And then um, one thing led to another. And uh, the idea of Nylab was born a place where all those smart ideas could grow and um, that's how. The event dubbed the next big thing was an arena for 1% to fund young startup companies. The event saw three winners awarded. The startups included Shoes by Young Freddy, Keja Hunt and Sokotext. The number three that already received donations. Mm. The 60,000 shilling go to Young Freddy. So because the donations were on M-Pesa, uh, you don't see them yet, we are also transferring those today. So the amount of donations you raised through M-Pesa, all by yourself, uh, and the exact insights of all the donations you received through M-Pesa, so really impressive. In less than two hours, you inspired 11 people to support you with 500 euro. And as a reward, you will receive another 750 euro. Will also be transferred for today. So your current amount is actually 1250, 1250 euro, which is 125,000 100, 125, shillings. So it's more than doubled. Congratulations. So good. Uh, Two and a half thousand euro is yours. Nice. Will be added to the amount you raised all by yourself. So and to uh, total is three thousand one hundred and thirty three thousand one hundred and thirty five euros, which is about three hundred thousand plus. Yeah. So today, you thank you, Young, for having this interview with us. Tell us something small about who you are. Uh, I'm Young Freddy. That's my brand name. But uh -huh. for my real names are Frederick Guitari. 
Uh -huh. The guitar, a local shoe designer from mm -hmm. a very humble background. Whereby I didn't go to school, I didn't do anything. I just did online learning, and uh, I came up with a shoe. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, actually, Kenyan, so obvious. Whereby they, they see now you are making a shoe, and uh, the price now you're selling is they're like, okay, Freddy, you're the one making a shoe, so you have to do us to the. A, a bit low price. price. How uh, much does the shoe go? For? Seventeen hundred Kenyan shillings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, material, because some of people like okay, you, you make a note and specify like the kind of material you want. You now finding the material for for customer, you have to sustain and like make, make customer like satisfied. So you have to go around town. You have to make sure that you get the same same material that a customer has has ordered. So you can go up to two days, three days without finding the material, but you have to make sure that you find it. If not, so you tell like, and obviously you can't tell your customer like, okay, I, I didn't get. So you have to make that struggle. Okay, I love shoes, but also, yeah, I also do pants, shorts, blazers. If one want like a shoe to match the blazer, I can do it for you. Thank you so much, Newton. All the best. You're welcome. Thank you. For now, Anna believes that Africa has a lot of entrepreneurial capability and hopes that more African countries will embrace crowdfunding as a way of dealing with unemployment. Uh, I have really high hopes for uh, um, Kenya and other African countries because what I sense is the eagerness uh, is like so huge. Whenever chance is offered, it's grabbed with both hands and people are willing to work really hard. Um, and especially in Nairobi, I think the people are really good in networking, mm -hmm. uh, really good in the sales part of the crowdfunding part. Um, so I hope that will be a good addition, perhaps even replacement for other ways of financing your project. Okay, so we're looking for more partnership in the future. Definitely, especially the smart ideas. <laughs> crowdfunding is fairly a new concept yet to take root here in Africa, but yet proves the answer for young entrepreneurs to find money to fund their dreams to reality. Cheritage Kene for Ebru, Africa TV. That was all for the business insight today. I am Cheritage Kene. Continue the rest of your viewing on Ebru, Africa TV. New Line Limited, your one-stop shop for elegant and comfortable office furniture. New Line responds to your expectations for office furniture in a modern language. We offer a five-year warranty period including unit transfers within Nairobi. For more information, visit our showroom at Chester House, Loiter Street, Nairobi. New Line Limited, your success partner. Makeup. Does your exterior complement your interior? Everyone needs a home that is inspired by nature. At Yenbo Limited, we offer durable, energy efficient, and affordable UPVC windows in attractive colors. Visit us at Wall Street Business Park of Mombasa Road. Yenbo UPVC Windows. Your desire, our child. New Line Limited, we offer current, stylish, state-of-the-art kitchen and wardrobe appliances tailored to suit your preference. We offer unit transfers within Nairobi. Let your kitchen stand out today by visiting us at Chester House, Loiter Street. Your comfort and satisfaction comes first. Flo professional maker.